Good morning, everybody. Today's Thursday. I'm on my way to Ulta because I got a gift card. So I'm gonna go buy myself something nice. After, I'm gonna go pick up Kalei and we're gonna go to a park somewhere. Shout out to Uncle Steven for having the gems. Also, this bump right here is mosquito bite from when we went to go eat at Trader Sam's on my birthday. So thanks, mosquitoes. Shout out to you guys and the Polynesian. and I'm pretty pretty excited because I've been researching eyeshadow palettes maybe for the past like two weeks because I don't know which one to get only today did I find like an eyeshadow palette that I really like cuz like the thing I oh the thing about eyeshadow palettes for me is that like I hate only loving 80% of the colors you know like a lot of palettes out there that are like super super cute and then there's like one or two colors and you're like I'm never gonna wear that in my life so I'm not gonna get that palette I don't know that's just me I'm not also really into makeup so like help I'm super excited I got the Anastasia soft glam palette and I kind of really really like it I really wanted the naked palette but Anastasia was cheaper and I could get a Morphe brush too so you know it worked I'm not like a makeup guru or a beauty guru by any means but I just wanted to like you know venture out I'm 21 I can like go to a club I can do club makeup just kidding I'm not doing club makeup oh my goodness now I'm on my way to pick up Kalei from work and we'll get there just in time. So, vlogging while driving part two. Actually, this is like part 526 because I used to Snapchat and drive like all the time. <laughs> um, but yeah. Woo sorry. We're at a red light, so I really just want to open this and like look at it. Come on. Hold on, hold on. And the red light is not a red light anymore, it's a green light, but I'm still gonna try and take this out. Oh my goodness, it feels so good. And this color. Wow, I'm so excited. Husband. So we're at Epcot now, and I'm already like super sweaty and super dewy, but you know, it's, it's fine, it's cool. We're gonna do Nemo. We actually like this ride. I like this ride. So we laughed last time because it was a 10 minute wait, now it's a five minute wait, but Kalei mentioned that it's only a 10 minute wait because you're freaking walking through the whole entire queue. So I'm pretty sure they purposely did this, but there's Nemo and there's Marlin. Just having a little bath up in here. So we got a fast pass for Soren for 520, like right before we got on Nemo. And now it's valid, so we're gonna do Soren. We went diving, now we're flying. Yeah! First stop is New Zealand and we're gonna get the sausage, steered venison sausage. So Clutch is online. Ooh, so venison sausage and kumara curry. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Oh yeah. How's them? Good. Yeah? From the Italian sausage to the hummus fries, like where does this fall in line? Um, I don't know. I'm really hungry right now. So oh, I think it's everything really good. <laughs> <laughs> so I really like the sausage, but the kumura puree is a little bit weird for me. I think it's a texture thing. Like I understand it's a puree, but since it's potato, I would think it to be like a mashed potato. I don't know. I think I like the the Irish sausage but butter. <laughs> But the sausage, the venison is really good. The puree is a little funky to me. So we're in Brazil now, and I got the mocheca. Don't know, I'm probably gonna, I don't know. I don't think you should have any. It's super good. Now I only got straight soup and rice. I'll try it with a, a shrimp. Right. I can see why you like it. This is super good. It's like buttery and like it's not spicy. I like this. I like this better than the venison. We're now in Belgium and we're gonna get the Belgian waffle with the berry crumble and whipped cream. Wow, I'm so excited.
I'm happy we got this one instead of the chocolate, no offense. He wanted chocolate, but I was like, no, let's get the berry because we're going to get chocolate later. But I really like this. I also like because the, um, the berry is like, the compote is cold and then the, the waffle is warm, so it's like a nice mix. I love that berry stuff. I think it's really good. So I haven't updated you guys, but my hair went up because it's freaking hot. And a big blue world. <laughs> we got food at Mexico, like regular food, not the food and wine, yeah, samplers, because we were that hungry. And now we're at my favorite place, Club Cool. <laughs> Cause free soda. <gasps> Fanta pineapple. Oh, this is gonna make me like, I like it, it's good. What is it? It's pineapple. It says pineapple. So I just thought of the perfect, perfect experience for this. Drinking around the world. So literally, there's Italy, Greece, Thailand, Japan, South Africa, Zimbabwe. Like, we don't drink. So this is like drinking around the world for us. Yeah, and it's free. <laughs> This is this is clickbait. This is gonna be a thumbnail. Free drinking around the world at Epcot. So this is what we're getting: the liquid nitro chocolate almond truffle. Thank you. So this is the one where they have the liquid nitrogen and then they put the chocolate inside. What is this? Everyone turned on me now. Yeah. Oh, it's small, yeah. Mhm. Mm it looks bigger in the picture. Looks like three scoops in the picture and it's only one scoop. Anyways, go ahead, go for it. Oh my gosh. That is solid. Yeah? Good? This one's actually pretty good. Yeah? <laughs> All the other ones, I was just really hungry. Oh, this one's actually like good. It's like mousse that they froze in liquid nitrogen, so only the outside is frozen and then the inside still moves. It's really nice. I don't know if it's worth four dollars but it's really good. I think they hype up anything with liquid nitrogen though. Mm -hmm. So I guess it would be four dollars. I already explained that this was a mosquito bite earlier but just to be reminded that's a freaking mosquito bite. The grass idea is probably the best idea they've ever had. <laughs> this is so nice instead of those tables I don't know they don't have like the cocktail tables. I'd much rather just sit on grass. Well, folks, part two of us losing our car. First, it was the Universal parking lot. And I was telling Clay, I was like, you know, it's not bad because everything's on one floor here. Because at Universal, we had the wrong floor and we were walking around the whole entire floor looking for our car because we're on the fourth floor. Well, here at Epcot, everything's on the same floor and we still can't find the car. I think I searched like four or five rows already. So we're gonna go in the opposite direction and hopefully it's there. Found it. I think he beat me to it. We found our car. Thanks for tuning in.